Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Henry, and in this series, we briefly celebrate monarchs that made an impact in their countries. Welcome to those new to the channel. If you enjoy history and would like a brief history about interesting monarchs each week, consider liking and subscribing for more. To the returning viewers who have already subscribed, I appreciate your support. This week, we are celebrate two prominent monarchs, which are Gojong of Korea and Richard I of England. Let's start our video off with Gojong of Korea who was born today in 1852 to parents Grand Internal Prince Hyunseon and Grand Internal Princess Consort Sunmok. He was the last king of Joseon and the first emperor of the Korean Empire. He was first crowned at the age of 12 on the 13th of December, 1863, his parents acting as regents. During his 43-year reign, the 1882 IMO incident, the 1884 Gapsin coup, the 1894 to 1895 Donghak Peasant Rebellion, and the 1895 assassination of his wife occurred all incidences being related to or involving foreign powers interfering in internal Korean politics. Go Jong initiated the Gwangmu reform aiming to improve the military, industry, and education, with some success. Japan, having expansionist views on Korea, eventually colonized Korea in 1910. Gojong abdicated on 20 July, 1907, dying on 21 January, 1919 at the age of 66 at his palace. His death was seen as suspicious and led to the fight for Korean independence. He had 10 consorts and 13 children among them. Our second monarch, and a very interesting character, is Richard I of England who was born in 1157 to parents King Henry II of England and Eleanor of Aquitaine. Richard was also Duke of Normandy, Aquitaine and Gascony, Lord of Cyprus, Count of Poitiers, and Jew, Maine, and Nantes, and was overlord of Brittany. Richard took command of his army at the age of 16, putting down rebellions in Poitou against his father. As a Christian commander during the Third Crusade, Richard achieved several victories against his Muslim counterpart, Saladin. Due to this reputation, he became known as Richard the Lionheart. He married Berengaria of Navarre, the couple having no children together. It was rumored that Richard and Philip II of France had an affair, but it was never substantiated, their friendship ending in a war between the pair near the end of his life. Richard was also accused of using England to fund his continental wars. He died at the age of 41 on the 6th of April, 1199. Richard spent about six months in England during his 10-year reign. Richard has brought us to the end of our video for this week. I hope you enjoyed the content, and I will see you in the next video.